Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on Alec GTV. My name is Alec Godwin, if you're meeting me for the first time, and today we are talking about this brand new Sony FS6. Is it for me? Is it for you? We're going to brainstorm over it right now, because um, that's what we do, alright? But hopefully, while I go through my process, you'll learn one or two things. So, let's get into it. All right, welcome back guys. It is real. This year has been the craziest year ever, ever the craziest year ever. Because I don't know, we have the pandemic to deal with yet they won't let us breathe with camera releases. You know, it's like nothing's happening out there. Or maybe we really need these things to feel better and distracted from the COVID. Uh, but definitely distraction is good from the COVID, okay? So that I will agree on. But does it have to be brand new gear? Does it have to be a brand new camera? Especially when they are this expensive? All right, let's break it down. If you're new here, I would love it if you subscribe to the channel. Here we do music, movies, tech reviews. So basically, if you love to watch movies and learn how to make movies, mm -hmm. This channel is for you, okay? The FS6, yeah. Good specs, good everything. I'm not gonna go through all that. you probably seen a lot of videos. Of course, there's a short time, not so much time before the release because it's actually shipping right now. You can actually pre-order it. Let's start from where it all started, okay? When I actually first said, I think I need to upgrade. When Blackmagic um, announced the 12K, I was I was inspired and I, I sometimes I go back to watch that video just to get inspired again because the inspiration is not just for the camera alone but for the time that we are in we are blessed we, this generation is blessed now don't get confused don't get uh, distracted with all the covid stuff stay safe of course but the truth is that we there has never been a generation this blessed with filmmaking opportunities and gears and lower prices than ever before even though it's so much pressure to decide what camera to use that's okay it's a good problem <laughs> it's not a bad one but when you make a decision you know make it and stick to it and stay with it for a while make sure at least you get some returns on that camera and and that's where my basis is going to be for for today you know, the FS5, Sony FS5 has just been a standard across most universities. I don't know any other university where they do otherwise. They give you access. If you're on ground, you have access to, to more cameras and better cameras, film and stuff like that. But if you're doing online, you'll get the FS5. Along with the light, newer light, this year became newer light. Long story, watch my video for that, the unboxing for that uh, video, so you get a, a hang of what was there. But I suspect that those students who are going to be in now for the next season will probably if you know you're planning to go to film school hold on especially if it's going to be online because that's that's where everything is turning out to be if you sign up for for um physical class you probably end up in all online anyway so why not if you hold on maybe till next year before you begin i'm sure that will be the fs6 will be the camera you get because um in our discussion class in school, I did bring up the issue. They said we could talk about anything, gears and all stuff like that. So I said, I think it's about time for them to upgrade from the Sony FS5, you know? And uh, it was really, <laughs> it was really, it really kind of, um, some of the students didn't see the reason because they were like dreaming of the FS5, but I've been around a little bit. So but I think now they'll put the plug because really it was really about Sony. If you think about the cheapest camera that looks like a cinema camera, because film school can I use like a A7S III, that won't be a right camera for film school. It's not just the, it's not a cinema camera, okay? So the Sony FS5 was the budget one that was like right there. Uh, it's not too great, but it's just enough for them to say, we gave you a film camera. So um, yeah, but right now, <laughs> I believe that they're gonna switch 
because when they started they started with the fs5 and then when the mark ii came out they switched it over to the mark ii and that's when i came in and got my my own camera but those of you who are thinking don't decide because of that actually <laughs> it's not worth it trust me and i'm going to talk about another video why you should what you should do with the FS5 if you already have it. Don't get confused like Philip Bloom. The FS6, this is what it's coming to do. It's definitely a replacement to this. It looks like the FS9. It performs like the A7S3. Simple. That's what the camera is. If you didn't know, now you know. But quickly, in order to wrap up, why would you want to go with the FS6? Hmm. My only problem is I still want the 6K now. I'm going to my head now. I'm talking from my head now. I still want the 6K. That camera would have been, the FS6 would have been boom for me if it, if it was 6K, just a little bit of resolution because I want to be able to end up at 4K. Sony needs to step it up a little bit. I know they killed it with the A7S 3 the 4K and all the resolutions and the dynamic range they put into all that. We appreciate that, but you know, Sony skipped 6K for the A7S 3 and cleverly gave us other things that will make us not complain. It worked. For the FS6, however, you know, it is the A7S 3 in a cinema body, but the price is twice. It's like we are paying 3,000 more just to look good on set. That's what I think from the reviews I've seen. And by the way, the reviews were really great. I think so far, Mati Hapoya killed it. You know, he, he, he gave me all the points on that video along with Mike Bone and Jay-Z. Yeah, they made a good video and I think um, that was the best review I had seen uh, because actually they showed me what the camera could do. I have the, I'm stuck with the Sony FS5 because it's cool, it's official. When we do our program, I have to fall back to the FS5. The bottom line is, I really would love the camera. I'll prefer it to the Blackmagic 4K, but do I have to? No. Now, even though I really want it, I really love to have it, I'm not going to be doing that. Remember the price is 6K. Now, there's a thought, you know, why not go for the red Komodo instead? That is 6K too, with the red sensor dynamic range really if i'm going to have to spend six grand for a cinema camera i'd rather go for the komodo i really need 6k because i want to end up my project in 4k and i need some leverage in terms of resolution another deciding factor will be how much glass you've had but i really don't like to go with that because i could have made a mistake and went with sony or canon and if you realize your mistake, especially if you had the time to test it out, this camera is actually, for me, it, it gives me inspiration when I work with it. Hmm, stay with that camera. Switch if you have to. I don't care how many lenses you have. For the fact that that camera gives you joy when you use it, go. Sell everything else you have. So if the Sony FS5, the Sony FS6, or uh, the Blackmagic Pocket 4K or 6K is that camera, get it and stick with it till you feel like you've sipped the life out of it. Right now, what I'm thinking, having danced around, because I really need 6K, I might just fall back to the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera 6K. For now. And I might not even change. But if I really need to do some upgrade right now, that would be the best way to go because it is a cinema camera, it is 6K resolution, and it looks like the others. That's where my head is going right now. The Blackmagic 6K, if I want to stay on a budget, or the red Komodo, if I want to spend 6K. FS6 is great. I'd rather have it from film school. If I was fresh into film school, I know it's already paid for through my tuition, and that's how I will own this FS6. Not another way around. Unless I will send a free copy from Sony, which is not a bad idea, Sony. <laughs> Unless that I'm, I'm a small channel. Okay, hopefully this helped you. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Love you. Peace. Out.